Theta is a measure of how much value an option is expected to lose as time passes. The total amount of time left until expiration, or days to expiry, will itself have an effect on the rate at which an option's value will decay. This chart shows the theta for all options of a fictional asset with a current price of $100, implied volatility of 50%, and varying days to expiry. The strikes range from $50 to $150, and the days to expiry ranges from 5 up to 85. We can see here that the time has a different effect on an option's theta, depending on where the option's strike price is relative to the underlying price. For options that are either deep in the money or deep out of the money, as time passes and the days to expiry decreases, theta decreases. How far away from the current price they need to be to see this effect can vary depending on both time and volatility. In this example, this is true for the strikes $75 and below, and for strikes $130 and above. The reason for this behaviour is the deep in the money and deep out of the money options have so little extrinsic value left as days to expiry decreases that there is increasingly little value remaining to be decayed away by theta. In other words, the rate that these options are losing their extrinsic value is outpacing the reduction in days to expiry. So despite the reduction in days to expiry as well, theta is getting smaller as time passes. To help illustrate this concept, let's use a simplified example. Imagine an option has a value of $10 and 10 days left to expiry. While it's not going to be exactly equal to theta decay, we could say that this option is going to lose an average of $1 a day for the next 10 days. We can think of this $1 a day figure as a simplified average version of theta. Now imagine that 5 days passes, but that the option loses $6 in value during that time. The option now has a value of $4, and 5 days left until expiry. We could now say this option is going to lose an average of 80 cents a day for the next 5 days, which is $4 divided by 5 days. So our simplified average version of theta has now reduced from $1 to 80 cents. The rate that the option has lost value in the first 5 days has outpaced the rate at which the time has passed. 50% of the time has passed, but 60% of its value was lost. As a result, our simplified version of theta has decreased. This is essentially what's happening for the theta of deep in the money and deep out of the money options in our more detailed example as well, just with slightly more complicated maths behind it. For at the money options, the picture is very different. For options that are at the money or close to it, as time passes and the days to expiry decreases, theta increases. In this example, we can see this effect for the options with strikes between $95 and $105. The reason for this behaviour is that unlike the deep in the money and deep out of the money options, for the at the money options, the rate that these options are losing their extrinsic value is not outpacing the reduction in days to expiry. So time is decaying faster than their extrinsic value. To use a similar simplified example, Imagine again that an option has a value of $10, and 10 days left to expiry. We could say that this option is going to lose an average of $1 a day for the next 10 days. So we can think of this $1 a day figure as our simplified average version of theta. Now imagine that 5 days pass, but that the option only loses $4 in value during that time. The option now has a value of $6, and 5 days left to expiry. We could now say that this option is going to lose an average of $1.20 a day for the next 5 days, calculated as $6 divided by 5 days. So our simplified average version of theta has now increased from $1 to $1.20. This time, 50% of the time has passed, but only 40% of the option's value was lost. As a result, our simplified version of theta has increased and this is essentially what's happening for the theta of at-the-money options in our more detailed example as well, again with just slightly more complicated maths behind it. Let's now look at five of the call options to further illustrate how their theta evolves, and how their extrinsic value decays. This chart shows the theta of the 70, 85, 100, 115 and $130 call options. 
The x-axis now shows the days to expiry, so as we move from left to right on the chart, we can see how the theta changes for each of these options as time passes. Let's pair this theta chart with another chart that displays the extrinsic value for these options over the same time period. In this chart we see the extrinsic value remaining in each option. As we move from left to right we see the extrinsic value reducing as time passes. Note that this isn't showing the total value of each option, only the extrinsic value that decays away as time passes. This allows us to see only the part of their value that is affected by theta. These two charts are another way of visualizing the behavior of the decay of these options that we have talked about already, but with more detail on a smaller number of options. For the $70 call, which is deep in the money, and the $130 call, which is deep out of the money, the theta reduces at a relatively steady rate. And when I say reduce here, I mean it gets closer to zero. They don't have a lot of extrinsic value to begin with, and any they do have is mostly gone long before expiration. On the extrinsic value chart, we can see this behaviour by noticing the steepness of the reduction in their extrinsic value. At first their extrinsic value reduces relatively quickly, slowing down before expiration with the lines getting flatter. For the $85 call, which is in the money, and the $115 call, which is out of the money, the theta behaves in a similar way, but reducing at a slower rate at first, then the theta reduces much faster as we get closer to expiration. On the extrinsic value chart, this translates to a very steady decline in extrinsic value right up until about 15 days to expiry, when the decline slows and the lines flatten off into expiry. Finally, moving on to the at the money $100 call, this behaves very differently. Instead of getting smaller, the effect of theta increases over time, steadily at first, then much more rapidly as we come into expiry. This means the extrinsic value of the at the money option is lost at an ever increasing rate, getting much faster as we come into expiry with the line getting ever steeper. In summary, the more time left until an option expires, the more time is left for the extrinsic value of the option to decay. The time left until the option expires, or days to expiry, will have an effect on the option thetas. And this effect will vary depending on where the strike price is in relation to the underlying price. Higher days to expiry will result in higher theta for both deep in the money and deep out of the money options. Higher days to expiry will also result in lower theta for at the money options. Lower days to expiry will result in lower theta for both deep in the money and deep out of the money options. And it will also result in higher theta for at the money options.